you know, the sad part is I know that they just had a baby not too long ago. Um, and this is very devastating right before Christmas. So he was, this was three days after his wedding anniversary. This is uh, a little bit more information about Twitch. And um, he had just celebrated his ninth wedding anniversary with his wife, Allison. He worked as a DJ and executive producer for the Ellen Show. We know that. Until it was canceled, police have confirmed that he was found dead. Allison has posted a heartfelt tribute to her husband, saying she will always save the last dance for him. What the hell happened? Why did he go to the hotel or somewhere to kill himself? It's, it, you know, it is, this is really sick. And I'm very disturbed that something like this could happen to such a young, young man. Why was he so depressed and nobody knew about it? Um, or was he depressed? You know, like again, they said he left his house without his car and his wife got upset. And then she received a call from the police department that uh, he was dead. Um, the couple shared three children, okay, I didn't know that, and got married in 2013, hosting Disney's fairy tale wedding. The boss has survived, uh, also a professional dancer, and their three children, Wesley, 14, Maddox, 6, and Zaya, 3. Okay, that's the one I remember. I didn't know he had two other children. Anyway, paying tribute to her husband. Allison said in a statement to people that it is with the heaviest of hearts I have to share my husband, Stephen, has left us. Stephen lit up the room every time he stepped into it. He valued family, friends, and community, and above all else, and leading the with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement, and his positive impact will be felt. I mean, this sounds just like the Hollywood cliche conversation. I mean, what is going on? I am certain there won't be a day that goes by that we won't honor his memory. We asked for privacy during this difficult time for myself and especially our three children. Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always say the last dance for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My intuition is telling me it's a little bit more story. story I mean, was they fussing? Did they have a dispute? Was he? What was he depressed about? The couple also posted a video of their YouTube channel appearing happy for a beginner's dance class cardio workout two days before his death. Ball started as a DJ on the show after breaking into show business MTV's The Wade Robinson Project before uh, uh, becoming a runner-up on Star Search. He later competed on dance show So You Think You Can Dance, where he became runner-up and later returned as an all-star. All and returned as a judge in 2022. The King Dancer posted a video of himself and his wife dancing in front of their Christmas tree just two days prior to his death. Ex-executive producer of The Ellen Show, Andy Lassner, um, paid tribute to Boss, saying, Rest, my friend, along with a picture of the two of them. And this is just too easy. Too polished. I mean, was he? Was anybody said that he was he depressed about the cancellation of the Ellen Show? Ellen Show was canceled earlier this year amid claims of bullying in a toxic workplace. 
with the final episode airing May 26. Um, in 2020, at least 10 former and then current employees of The Ellen Show claimed they had faced bullying and racism behind the scenes of a long-running show. I mean, months after that first claim surfaced, Jennifer gave an interview in which she said the attacks on her did feel very misogynistic. Um, this is, um, I'm just not comfortable. I really am not. But it is what it is. And we're going to take Hollywood at his word right now. We know stranger things have happened. Just a few days before Christmas, for you not suffering from depression or any of those type of things to choose to abandon your family that way um, at this time and put them through that doesn't seem like a person that loved their family very much. That's all I'm saying. So what was the pressure he was under? Hmm. I don't know. Just curious. Made that whole family up. Uh, my condolences go out to them and may he rest in peace. See y'all in the next video.